So Brad, a game that um, I suppose in the beginning the, the preparations weren't ideal, uh, but certainly a game we could have got something out of, something from the end of that. Yeah, when you say preparations, it's obviously mentioning that someone was obviously uh, not feeling too good just as we're about to go down the tunnel. Um, and obviously we had to make a substitution, so the ref allowed us to do that. So um, game plan changes slightly. And then uh, we get an injury after five minutes. So technically there's two changes that was not ideal to the game plan and preparation. Yeah, you're right. Um, I think we, we was a bit lethargic after the first five minutes. I think we started really well. Five minutes, we were on the corner after the first start. Um, and then for some reason, you know, the guy, the blonde guy, he's had two headers really. Um, and it's three headers. So we spoke about that and I was disappointed. It took till two goals to someone on the pitch steps out and goes, and I'm going to go and mark him now. Um, but it's too late. So they didn't really cut us open in terms of them um, on that side of it. We gifted chances again, which is so, so annoying. Um, but it's, an, it's upsetting that we have had to change the game plan because of injuries, like you said, and, and illnesses. Do you think that that sort of that that was the catalyst for the the, the two go two goals early in the first half in terms of the the changes obviously you, you you set people out in terms of who they should market set pieces and things like that does yeah. that disrupt it yeah and you know we have to bring in a young lad who's been doing really well and Bradley Roberts uh, he's he's had a fantastic start and spell with us and for him to step up at that last knockings as well and um, responsibility of some of the senior boys that I had a go at them really and that they should be doing a little bit better um but yeah, it, it can it can possibly look that way. We'll look at it, but um, I think it's it's a free header on both goals, really. So it's very disappointing that we've allowed that to happen. That um, said, the second half there was there was character. Yeah. Um, you know, at two 0 down at a place like this, they're in a rich run of form. They could have quite easily not given up, but you know, cold cold afternoon just kind of accepted the the scoreline, but. You instill professionalism in these boys, mm. a hard work ethic, and we could have certainly come away with at least a point. Yeah, I think they was they were running on empty the other team at the end there. We was you know their time wasting, and um you know the, the, I can go back, I can literally go back before I applaud the boys for the second half performance. But I sit there and um, two hours of my time, my life as a manager and as a coach, and listen to what referees have got to say to all of us, and this is what's going to happen, and this is what you can't do and what you're going to do. And one of our players for the first goal went down injured with a head injury. Um, and then the ball, second phase, has hit him on the leg while he's down in the middle of the goal. And he's played on and played on. And from that result in set piece, they've put the ball in the box and they've scored. So you talk to me about players' welfare and players... A livelihood and respect and that's frustrating for me but then I go back now to the second half I was really proud of how they committed themselves in terms of their work rate their effort Monts yes 1v1 with a goalkeeper he's put it just past the post should have been 2-2 but there were some other balls as well in the box in and around in the second half that we looked like we was going to go on and not only just get a point like you said we could have won it if we score against Mons 1v1, the game changes, it changes. But I look back at it and I'm pleased with 40 minutes of second half. Um, I like the character of the boys, the desire, the work rate for one another in the second half. But you cannot give any teams at this level, bearing in mind they've led a couple of games at home, they've gone 2 new up and 2-2, two, 2-2 two, two new up, 2-2 two, two, and eventually possibly won it. So they are a team there to be beaten. Um, I think at times we gave them a lot of too many opportunities in terms of putting the ball in the box and too much respect. But I am proud of the boys. Um, the second half they put on on a cold night, cold weekend for the fans. Second half was so much better. It, it was a game where they were clinical and perhaps we weren't. Is that an area of the pitch now that maybe you'll go away and start to look at? Is there something you I, can I think, do? I think they were just clinical, Dan, and in, in, in send. You know, it's, a, it's three headers. So you're clinical when you put balls in the box. Avely done the same thing. Teams at this level seem to be doing that. Um, we worked on so so much to get the ball in the right areas, and we didn't do that. But we did it second half. Balls crossing, face the goal, and Tyrese at the back post put the ball in the back of the net. 
this is what we worked on. Um, but listen, I, I, we've had a good chat. We've been clear and um, I'm, uh, I'm disappointed that we didn't come away with it. But I'm, I'm very proud um, of the work ethic of what the boys did. I didn't think the officials was very consistent with the rules in terms of what we're going to do. And I don't really go off or lose my respect. It's not about disrespecting them. I just think there were some key decisions today where things like that upsets any manager or any coach. Um, some of my players got booked from that. I'm disappointed that they have to waste their time talking to a referee that he's made a mistake and then he literally throws away a yellow card. But listen, we can sit here and can moan and complain, but I'm um, I'm disappointed that we didn't, you know, get something out of the game. And we look back at the league table again today, and we're still close within it. Um, but teams like this, at this moment, they're getting a rub and a green. And um, it's my job to pick them boys up and turn the second 45 minutes, 40 minutes, into 80 minutes, first half, all the way through to the second half. So we look forward to the game on Tuesday night. Um, but overall. Um, I was pleased with the second half. You talk about being proud there. A group of people that were very proud at the end, despite the defeat, were the fans. Mm. They were singing your name at the end. They were clapping the players off. You know, that that must be a nice feeling to for them to recognise that actually the team did give their all, certainly in that second half. Hundred percent, hundred percent. The fans are everything. What we what we do at this club, what I install is discipline and respect for your fans and your supporters. They're here for the rest of their life, their career. They're never going to go anywhere. Players come, managers, coaches, whatever, but fans is what it means to everyone. Um, and you have to give them everything. You leave everything out on that pitch. That's exactly what we, we install in this club. Um, the players will be right and ready for Tuesday night. And um, we're back at home. Um, and it's important that we focus on getting three points now. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit lost for words for once. Um, but listen, um, I was disappointed that we didn't get a result, anything out of it today.